What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ben Goose Gaming. I'm TF Goose here with Vendetta, and we are ready for our next part of our deck builder series here with the Hunter today. Yeah. Yeah, Hunter. Excellent. So th this class has been picking up a little bit in the uh, in the meta thanks to some uh, changes. So again, if you're new to the series, we're just going to show you a couple of decks that we've been using. Uh, a low budget version and a higher budget version. These are not the end all be all. It's just sort of what we've been using to get gold and, you know, try and complete some quests and stuff and give you some ideas. So hopefully you enjoy it and we'll show you some gameplay in the background of the decks in action. So with that, we'll start things off uh, with a low budget deck here with Arcane Shot, right? Yeah, you got Pretty two simple. of these. It uh, does two damage to any minion. Yeah, pretty much you can just use this as early removal, and it, it's as simple as that, you know. So, I mean, what more can you really say, you know? <laughs> it, it's good for that. I mean, there's really not else. To, you don't want to go for the face with this or anything. I mean, you just want to you know, take down the minions and be done with it. So, uh, after that is uh, the first trap, I guess, we'll really discuss. Possibly the only one, I think. Yeah, we neither one of us really likes any of the other secrets. Yeah. So uh, yeah, explosive trap is is pretty solid. You know, you can play it pretty much any time, and unless you're playing against another hunter who happens to pack a flare, then it's guaranteed going to hit the other side for two damage at some point. You know, once your enemy attacks, and that could be great, especially in the early game with a lot of creatures being played that have two health. You know, so what more do you want? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good early game removal for the hunter. That being said, though, they they everyone usually expects it to be explosive trap, so a lot of people are going to try to play around it. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, very, very true. Up next, uh, one of our standard staples, right? Civic Swampoos. Yeah. Six Swampoos, 3-2, destroy a weapon. It's pretty basic. We got two of them in this deck. It's just a good card. It's a good low-budget card. So Yeah, it's good, and it's also good in, in high. I mean... Great for taking out those weapons and to get some early game, you know, presence on the board. As is this next one, which is again one of our staple favorites. Probably my favorite, you know, early game creature anywhere is Fairy Dragon. Yeah, Fairy Dragon three two can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Just you know, a absolutely love it. This card's amazing, you know, and you just have to deal with it straight up. Otherwise, you know, it's going to hang around until they get AOE, and that generally doesn't happen until later. <laughs> so stack your game, stack your decks with these. They're they're great. Uh, after that, we got a hunter card. Yeah, an scavenging action. hyena. It's a yeah. two two, and it gains two one every time a beast dies. Yeah, so if you manage to to stick some beasts in your deck, there's a couple of different ways to play hunter. You know, and if you want to run the beasts route, then uh, you can load up your deck with a bunch of those, and then count on you know them sacking here and there to pump up the scavenging hyena, and it can be really solid. So otherwise, I mean, it's still a decent card. You know, it's it's not three two like you'd hope it would be. <laughs> but uh, usually you can get it out there and hopefully uh, play it when you're going to sacrifice a beast, and then it'll start pumping up pretty quick. So pretty nice card there, and certainly if you build the deck around it. So after that, uh, we got a weapon. Yeah, Eagle Horn Bow. It's a 3-2, and every time a secret is revealed, it gains one durability. So that's, right, so, that's yeah, an interesting that's mechanic. Great. Yeah, I mean, and that's not just your secrets, right? I mean, that's your opponent's too. So. Yeah. Yeah, so you can certainly, you know, put, uh, you know, Explosive Trap or two in your deck, but bear in mind if you're playing against, uh, you know, a Mage or a Pally or something, or, you know, and there's some secrets flying around, this can actually last longer than it's, you know, stated here. So bear that in mind and use it. Weapons are great. After that, probably uh, one, of the, one of the better Hunter cards, in my opinion, Animal Companion. This, this sucker's awesome. Yeah, you get one of three minions. You get a 4-2 Boar with Charge. A 2-4 Leoc, which gives every creature plus one attack, or a 4-4 Taunt Misha, which is just fantastic. Yeah, Misha's the one you really want, you know, because you're going to get a 4-4 creature for three mana, which is amazing. But the other two aren't horrible, but really, Misha. Give me Misha. <laughs> Misha! I, I love Misha. She's great. <laughs> Moving on, we have the, uh, the next card. It's a Deadly Shot. Destroy a random enemy minion. This card is really good in the late game if they are trying to pull something like a Rag or a Ysera or, or something not quite as extreme, but it's still a great way to remove uh, an enemy minion. Yeah, yeah. just bear in mind it is random, so you kind of want to clean up the board as much as possible, so you uh, definitely target the one that you want. Uh, after that, Kill Command. This is just a straight DD, you know, but does uh, more damage if you happen to have a beast on the board, so try and play with that in mind. Otherwise, great for removal, great for direct damage. If you need to, you know, use it to dust off your enemy, then that'll do the job as well. And then after that, we got some card draw. 
right? Yeah, Acolyte of Pain, 1-3. Every time it takes damage, draws you a card. This is just for some much-needed card draw because we're not running any flares in this deck or uh, any Starving Buzzards, for that matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is just to give a little bit of card draw in, in, into the deck, because otherwise we really don't have any. So just wanted to throw something in here for that and help get a little bit of cards. Uh, after that, another staple favorite, especially on lower budget, Shattered Sun Cleric. When it was a 3-3, it was amazing. At 3-2, it's still a decent card because of that buff. You know, stacking on something, screw up the math for your opponent and and ruin his day. That That's the best part of this card. So use that and clear the way and uh, help make room for this uh, next shot on your opponent. This is a great card, multi-shot. Yeah, multi-shot does three damage to two random enemy minions. This is super strong early game because most of your creatures are only going to have two health, so it's a great board clear at four mana. It's um, It can also really help if, if the uh, opponent has a lot of board presence as well. Yeah, this is a nice, nice card, and you'll find a lot of people actually try and play around this even early game by intentionally not putting a second minion on the board just so that you won't be able to play this. <laughs> yeah. But they will have to eventually, and then you get to ruin them. So good card and, and definitely worth the, the spot in the deck here. As is this next card, uh, these are welcome in pretty much any deck. Chill and, chill and Yeti, super sexy. <laughs> yeah, it's a 4-5. We got two of them in this deck. It's really strong. Yeah, it just does work. Nothing crazy about it. No text or anything. It's just there with a big thick body at four mana. You gotta love it and throw them in. Uh, after that, I'm still running a, a Dark Iron Dwarf post nerf, <laughs> mainly just because uh, it hasn't ticked me off yet. I, I don't know that it's uh, it's really gonna find a way out of my deck. I, I used to run two. Now I only run one, but I still think it's a worthy card. You know, to give it a little bit of burst damage when you need it, and otherwise it leaves behind a good body, you know, at four mana. So, not too bad. Yeah, moving on, we have your personal favorite, Defender of Argus. Plus one, plus one, plus taunt. Yeah, to, to the adjacent minions. Th this card is excellent. It wins me games. I love it. I only have, I only own one of them. If I owned a second, then I would probably put it in here. <laughs> but uh, as it is right now, it's great, and it creates some taunt. Uh, which can block up some of the other rushy decks and everything too. So great card, love it lots. Uh, after that, we get uh, an actual uh, uh, hunter card here, the Houndmaster. This card's nice again for uh, again, you know, putting some taunt on as well as buffing up a minion. It just has to be a beast. That's the kicker. So you want to make sure you got a nice target for it before you bring it out. Otherwise, it's a little lackluster, if you ask me. Yeah, without the battle cry of two two and taunt, it's really not nearly as strong. But if you manage to get that beast out there. It's a really good card. Yeah, so definitely try and play with that, but otherwise, you know, it's it's still decent in a pinch, but uh, you'd really want that battle cry. And you certainly want the battle cry for the next card that I have in here, which is just a spell breaker. You know, I like still carrying a little bit of silence. You're kind of converting me on that, man. <laughs> it's super strong. I know it's falling out of the way of the meta, but I really like having at least one silence in my deck. They're soup they tend to come in really handy right when you need them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can use the bust, use this to bust through taunt. You can unfreeze one of your own minions if you want this with this. You know, you can certainly take down a big enchanted creature or something like that. So, really, really, really nice card. And I think carrying one in a deck is is certainly a feasible thing to do. Uh, after that, another one of my favorite just neutral minions to throw in, Silverhand Knight. Lots of value here. A four four and a two two for five. You can't beat it. That's a lot of stats for five mana and it splits the creatures, you know, I like it. I like that mechanic a lot, especially when it doesn't leave something behind that only has one health, you know? <laughs> yeah, agreed. One health is kind of hard to, to buff. Like, you can't really, without wasting a bunch of cards, you can't really buff it that high and make it that great of a value. Yeah, but since the, other, since the token creature this creates, it starts at two, it's a little meatier, and of course it, it's great if you can drop this guy on turn nine and then stick Defender of Argus right between both of them. You end up with a nice meaty shield on both sides to help suck up some damage and works very nicely. So, uh, And then after that, another beast, right? Yeah, Stranglethorn Tiger. It's a 5-5 five five with stealth. We just went for beast synergy here since we had a Houndmaster and some other buff, some other yeah. buffs to go through. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can stick a lot of things in this five slot here, but given some of the other cards and given that it's a hunter, this card's available to everybody, and it, it's a decent, decent spot. You know, it's not a bad creature. You know, it's got good stats, and it starts with stealth. You know, and of course it allows that activation of some of the other cards because it's a beast. So, good one to have around, and then uh, good to have around pretty much any time. As well, we're getting close to the end of the deck here, is uh, ye old a Argent Commander, right? This this guy does work. 
Yeah, 4-2 with Divine Shield and Charge. Love, love you. Yeah. <laughs> Arjun is the, the card. Honestly, this card used to be everywhere. It really did, you know, before they nerfed it. And even after the nerf, you know, we were taking off one of the health. I still think it's an absolute monster, you know, because it always comes in. It's always going to get to smack something for four. It's going to live, you know, and then your opponent's going to have to do something else to it to get rid of it, be it removal or smack another creature into it for another four damage. So... Pretty solid and certainly capable of carrying two. I think you carry two in your deck, which we'll see here in a minute. But uh, otherwise, I just got one spot for it, and it works well for me. So Yeah, agreed. It's still a really, really good card. Um, but moving on here to kind of round out our deck, we have the Savannah High Main. We're running two of these. It's a 6-5 creature with a death rattle to summon two two hyenas. So again, kind of going with that Beastmaster theme, um, we... we we like this card a lot because of the death rattle and the ability to kind of buff the beast with kill command and uh, yeah, use the hound master on it. Yeah, you know, uh, you can you know if they die, you know they're just little two guys and you got a scavenging hyena out. You can buff that up as well. You know, this card is probably you know the best card in the hunter arsenal. Honestly, this is a really really great minion. This is on par in my opinion with the fire elemental, the shaman, also in the sixth slot. It's just such a strong card that you really don't have any reason not to run it, you know, unless you have something just truly ridiculous. But really, I, I can't even think of something that I would want to put in, and, you know, instead of having at least one spawn high main because they're just so good. So anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty much the low-budget deck right here. So take a peek at that and see if you can get some ideas flowing there. Again, not the total end-all be-all things, but we did pretty well playing with this deck, I think. Yeah. You know, so... But uh, with that, we'll move on here. We're going to bring over the high-budget version of this and show you what you can do when you got a little dust at your command, and we'll take a look at that now. All right, so first up in the high-budget deck list is Flare. So this one's, uh, <laughs> again, just starting to come back in now, I think. <laughs> yeah, so many people are running Secrets. This is kind of, we put two of these in here for, you know, several reasons. The first being so many people are playing Secrets, it's good to get rid of a Secret. And on top of that, it's card draw. So at a very minimum, you're getting one card for, you know, one mana, which isn't terrible. Right. It replaces itself. You know, it thins your deck. And uh, this, this card started to come up really big, you know, against mages when they were running Ice Block, and it just turns that off, which is great. But it's great against really any secret. And, and if, even if there isn't one, like you said, it replaces itself. So solid card. Uh, after that, uh, we've got uh, Timberwolf, which kind of starts to showcase what this deck is all about. Rush. Uh, Rush, exactly. Trying to get the opponent down, have just enough control, you know, to keep the board at an agreeable level, but otherwise you're going to, to beat them down. So, and this card is certainly a, a staple part of that, you know, and you, you're definitely going to want to have a pair of them here. Uh, after that, we just have uh, another explosive trap, right? Yeah, another explosive trap. This is just for your early game protection, really, so that you don't get overwhelmed because with this being a rush deck, you know, you're not going to have big, beefy, taunty minions, per se. Yeah. Exactly. You want to be able to, to protect some of those weaker guys when you get them out, and this card can help you do that. So, After that, uh, a card that had a lot of controversy there for a while and has been reworked entirely and turned into what you see here. Uh, this card is very integral to this deck, though, at this point. <laughs> yeah, Unleash the Hounds is, is definitely a staple of this deck. We have it paired with, uh, you'll see a little later, a Scavenging Hyena and um, some other things. It, it, it makes this deck work. It really does. Yeah, really, really solid. It's an excellent card. There was uh, some wonder if it was going to really be around anymore after it got changed, but <laughs> it's sort of you know, ended up defining the Hunter at this point. Uh, after that, we just got a couple cards we see in the other deck, you, you know, carrying a couple of Acidic Swamp Oozes here just to get a couple of other creatures out on the board early, you know, take care of enemy weapons, which can really, you know, hork things up if you're not careful. And... Uh, you know, just great to have around. And then, of course, uh, Fairy Dragon as well, right? Yeah, we talked about that in the low-budget deck as well as some of our other videos. It's just a great uh, two-cost minion. And moving on from that, we have the Knife Juggler, which is a 3-2, does one damage for every additional minion you summon. It's another great two-drop. Yeah, excellent card, and again, synergizes well with some of the other cards in this deck, such as Unleash the Hounds. So a uh, good one to have here for sure. Uh, after that, uh, we just, you know, again, we mentioned those scavenging hyenas. Great, great cards, especially in this deck when you got a lot of, you know, lower cost guys, rushy cards, charging cards, things like that, where you can instantly uh, pump this guy up. Really, really nice to have. So we like having a pair of these in this deck as well. 
And then after that, we got another one we saw earlier. Yeah, Animal Companion. It just works good with Hunters. I, I've This is one of my favorite Hunter cards. I think it's really strong. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't think I would want to be without this card, really. You know. <laughs> yeah, for three mana, I just think yeah, I, any of the three beasts is really good. Yeah, it's just fine. And if you manage to get Misha, it's just like, oh, you know, <laughs> it's so good. But uh, after that, uh, again, another staple card, you know, for the Hunter, Deadly Shot. You know, we'll keep this around just in case there's something really ugly on the other side or something annoying that you want to get out of your way, like a big taunt or something. Hopefully you can uh, whittle the board down and make it so that you have a, either a really good chance or a 100% chance even to take out that with this uh, random enemy kill. So really nice card to keep around, as is the next one for just damage. Yeah, kill command with, considering the fact that we're running Unleash and a lot of other beasts, kill command is going to be a three mana, five damage, instant removal, or... It could be the finisher. Yeah, absolutely. If you got things set up right, it can end up being a nice finish. So certainly good to keep around. Uh, as is uh, our next one here, Harvest Golem. I usually run this in my decks, and if I could have gotten a nice spot for it, I would have put it in. But fantastic card. Respawns itself with as a 2-1 after it takes a kill. Almost always a 2-for-1, you know, for that reason. This is just one of the absolute best neutral minions you could throw in any deck. So, fantastic to have it here, certainly if it's gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yours is. <laughs> Moving on, we have uh, quite an interesting card that's starting to get a lot more play is uh, Tink Master Overspark. His, uh, his battle cry is turn an, a minion into a 1-1 one, one Squirrel or a 5-5 five, five Devil Sour. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's fun, and at first glance, you know, you, you don't want to deal with that RNG component because you might end up making something really ugly on the other side of the board. But, of course, the obvious use here is to target something that you think would be okay as either the 1-1 one, one or the 5-5. Five, five. In other words, it's already worse than either of those. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's nothing better than using this on, like, a Ragnaros. Yeah, and, and turning it into either of those is still fine, you know. So keep it in mind. Use it as removal. You know, and it can work out really well. Or if you have a token and you want to risk it, you know, or something like that, you know, target a 2-2 two -two or something, see if you can upgrade it. That could be cool, too. You know, it's up to you. Uh, after that, you've got a pair of Wolf Riders in here. Again, just uh, going with the charge mechanic. <laughs> you know, rush, rush, beast, beast, damage, damage. You know, well, not beast for this one. You know, you know what I mean. I meant beast as kill, do things quickly. <laughs> yeah. Well, and we're pairing with the steady shot, right? You know, so you drop a Wolf Rider on turn five, and then you're doing five damage in one turn. I mean, it really adds up fast. It absolutely does. It absolutely does. You're not waiting for these guys to hang around. You're just hitting them, and they're dying, and that's okay. Uh, after that, a little bit more control again. Same thing as the other deck, multi-shot. Great for cleaning up the enemy board, making some room for you guys to go through, and making sure you don't get overwhelmed. Run a pair of those in here just to uh, keep things under control. And then uh, after that, again, my personal favorite, the old Defender of Argus. That's right. Because we have so many kind of weeny creatures in this deck, Defender of Argus is really good because it can help you in the mid game to kind of clear some of the more tougher, I guess, yeah. beasts. Yeah, exactly. And you can also make it so that, uh, you know, if you need a couple of taunts even to protect something else that you have on the board, you know, you can pop this sucker out there. And even if they're weak taunts, it's still something the enemy's got to go through first, you know, so... Nice to have around. Uh, after that, we've got uh, another, we've got Houndmaster again here. Again, got some beasts here that you can work with with this. It's a nice, you know, card to bring out to buff up something and give it a nice taunt again. So we just like this card here, and it works well in the four slot. Yeah. So, same it, reasons as before. Yeah, moving on, we have an interesting card here. We have Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Leroy is really, really nice for this, for this style of deck when you're going for Rush. You know, uh, you pretty basically use him as a finisher, though. If you bring him out at any other time, you're handing your opponent the, the tools to destroy it. So it really doesn't do anything for you. But to keep him as a finisher, he can be a beast. Yeah. Really, really nice, fun card. He pairs really well with Unleash the Hounds, too, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good point. Yeah, because then it's a, you're getting a couple extra guys when you do Unleash the Hounds. So. Yeah, and if you slap on a Scavenging Hyena, it gets bananas. Yeah, truly, truly, so... After that, uh, we've got a little removal here, Explosive Shot. Uh, this is just a fantastic you know, removal card. Five damage to the center thing you hit and two to the adjacent ones. Really, really solid. Does work. And again, just to keep that little bit extra control that you might need to push through your minions and charge the guy down. Yeah, again, moving on, we have Savannah High Main. 6-5 summons two, two, two hyenas. Great card. Yep. Absolutely fantastic card, you know, and I'd run it in pretty much any hunter deck. As would uh, 
You know, you can also run a, another staple card from the previous deck, Argent Commander. This guy's beastly. He does work. Keep him around, you know. <laughs> and he has charge, which is the whole mechanic of this deck. You know, so it works very well, especially in this type of setup. Keep him around, and he's going to almost always two for one once again, which is the staple of a great card. And then lastly, running up this deck. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> King Crush. King Crush. This guy, when he shows up, he's going to immediately be able to burst forth and rock some damage in. Uh, obviously a fantastic finisher and, or just certainly a great way to clean up a really, really problem minion that your opponent has dropped late. Uh, this guy's fantastic. So really, really solid here, guys. Um, I'm hoping you uh, enjoyed the little series here. And if uh, you have any comments or anything, let us know in the comments below. And have fun. We're going to see you soon. We're going to do a lot more of these. Take care.